This is a demonstration of using the Write and Cite feature of RefWorks to create in-text citations and a final list of references for your research paper. It's a download accessed in RefWorks. First, log into RefWorks going through the Foley homepage. Now that you're in RefWorks, use the Tools feature, select Write and Cite, and start the process of downloading. Now the IT staff at Gonzaga recommends if you have a PC to choose the Write and Cite for Word 32-bit. Of course, if you're a Mac user, you will know which one to choose. Sit back and relax. Let's start the download feature right now. Word of warning, it's going to take a little bit. Get a cup of coffee and start. Now that the installation is complete, we're ready to go. So log out of RefWorks now and open Word for Windows. And note, we now have a new tab called RefWorks. Click on it and now we're going to access RefWorks by logging in through Word into RefWorks. Now if you're on campus, you may not have to put the group code in, but if you're a distance student or at home, for sure you have to have the group code RW Gonzaga U. Username and password. Now you've linked RefWorks with Word. We're going to have to tell Word which style you are using, and there are several that are built in. You can actually select other styles as you can through RefWorks. For this exercise, we are going to use the APA 6th. And now it's time to start writing the paper. Note we're starting from the body of the paper and not the title page or the introduction. And hope we can write this without errors. I'm going to now insert a citation so you can see how easy it is. Insert citation. Insert new. We're going to go to the folders that you will recognize comes from your RefWorks account. Here's our cheese folder and all of my cheese references are in here. So let's choose reduce fat. If you have to edit the citation, you can do it right here. You have a preview of the citation. Click OK. Period. Next sentence. Back to my cheese folder. Right there. Let's get cheese quality and OK. Now we've neglected chocolate. Space, insert citation, chocolate folder, chocolate, the dark side. We can now stop, place the cursor where you want the bibliography to be. Select bibliography options, insert bibliography, voila! There it is. As always in RefWorks, you have to go back to your citations and look to make sure that there aren't any capital letters missing. And sure enough, I see something right here. We need a capital Z and a capital A. It's now time to save the paper. Now here's a question you may ask. Can I go back and add to my paper? You certainly can. Put your cursor wherever you need to add to your paper. Insert another citation. Not only did we insert a pretend new sentence, we also inserted the next citation. Go ahead and try right in sight and enjoy.
If you have any questions, always call the reference desk. We'll be glad to help you.